Locusts are grasshoppers with a terrifying twist. While normally solitary, mild-mannered herbivores, certain environmental stresses and crowded conditions cause physiological changes in the insect. They change color and they become gregarious. Gregarious comes from Latin gregis, meaning animals that flock together. And it's also related to words like aggregate and egregious, which used to mean something that was above and beyond the group before it gained a negative connotation later. The swarms often begin after weather events force locusts into close quarters, like droughts and floods. The crowding triggers them to transition to the gregarious phase, and then they begin migrating to new territory. The swarms of up to 4 billion individuals gives them great safety in numbers, because wherever they go, the local predators would never be able to make a significant dent in their population. But locust worms are also incredibly destructive to humans, as they can destroy whole crops in hours. And so locusts have historically been considered a plague. We say that locusts have two phases of life, the solitary and the gregarious phase, but the word phase originally had to do with the moon. The word comes from Latin phasis, which referred to the different appearances of the moon, whether crescent or gibbous or waxing or waning. And phasis comes directly from Greek, where it referred to the appearance of the stars as well as the moon. This word phasis traces back to the Proto-Indo-European root ba, meaning to shine. And all kinds of words related to light and appearances derive from this root, including banner, photo, and phantom. The word locust has an odd twin, the lobster. And this is because locust comes from French langouste, which actually still means lobster today. The furthest origin of that word is Latin locusta, which, weirdly enough, could mean either locust or lobster. So what do you think? Are locusts and lobsters basically interchangeable? So locust swarms can be a plague, and a plague is something dreadful, destructive, evil, especially a fast-spreading infectious disease. This word gained this meaning with the bubonic plagues of the late Middle Ages. Plague derives from Latin plaga, which meant a strike or a wound, and itself goes back to Proto-Indo-European plak, which is related to hitting something. And this concept helped form the basis of the modern words complain and apoplexy. Environmental disruptions and droughts are related to the locust transition to swarming, and those things are only becoming more common with climate change. So understanding locust behavior is pretty high-stakes science. And research into locusts has often focused on neurobiology to understand the neural basis of locust behavior. And it's turned out that locusts actually have truly weird brains compared to other insects. Next time, we'll get into some of the amazing locust brain science. <laughs>